All right, hello and welcome to a look at a thousand one nights, which is a well, it's an AI native game that's driven by language, large language models (LLM). So, um, I guess from you know what I understand, um, the game uh, will use Open AI's Chat GPT. Um, potentially to kind of help write the story for this um, adventure. So, um, I am playing with a review version, so it um, automatically has some stuff going on for the AI, so, or the uh, OpenAI take token, so I didn't have to create one. Um, yeah, all that's fine. A sister, sister... Charizard. Charizard. What happened, Dunyazed? Do you remember the book we read about Masari, the great heroine? Yeah, sure then. And play a game with me. Yeah, I'm the great adventurer, Masari. I am the bravest, most powerful he hero in the kingdom. This is my magical moonlit sword. Moonlight sword. Unbeatable by anyone. Look at my sword skills. Oh, it's just a tree stick, you little silly. It is not. It's my most precious treasure. Then tell me, where did you find the Moonlight Sword? It was a cold desert night. The stars were asleep. Only the moon was watching in the sky. Alibaba and I, the clever one, found it under a moonlit satin dune while looking for treasure. So what's special about this Moonlight Sword? It's made of moonlight and will glow in the dark. And it's always icy cold, just like the desert wind at night. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to skip that. Anyway, uh, she had an imagination, I think it said. Actually, the Moonlight Sword has a secret. Really, sis? Let me know. Uh, so here's the secret of the sword. Hmm. Well, this is where we get to write our own thing. Well, anybody that knows me knows that, uh, where this is going to go. The sword is, sword is actually made of bread. It is a giant baguette. How do you think about it? I'm not sure what I'm getting. I have to think about the Moonlight Sword carefully. Ooh, oh, this is a dilemma. The sword is made of bread. We'll just, we'll just do it easy. It's not our fault the child doesn't know what I'm getting. Since you were being silly, how can it be made of bread? I have to think about this Moonlight Sword carefully. But here's the secret of the sword. Uh, the sword is made of bread that is hard as iron. Oh, that's so funny and strange. Tell me more, sis. Could I eat it when I am hungry? Or is it too hard to bite? Tell me more about this, sis. Hmm. You could bite the bread sword if you wanted to. Uh, your teeth would shatter into tiny pieces of avocado. You give me the option to make a nonsensical story. That's what I'm going to do. What are you saying? I didn't hear clearly. Well, let's make it clear. Okay, fine. No, you cannot eat the sword. All right, I'll try this. Who need a sword? Moonlight sword is for fighting scary monsters, not for eating. Well, oh, the sword has appeared. Doesn't look anything like a bread sword. What is this? It's like a blue thing. This what are you looking at? You can't see the sword? Huh? Sis, what are you talking about? My moonlight sword is right here. Look. You really can't see it? It's just my hallucination, right? Then watch it. Hey! Oh. <laughs> what? So mean! Ah, my sword is broken. What What happened? Was it really a sword, not my illusion? I, I really didn't do anything. I don't know why this happened. Sis, you bully. I'm sorry, truly sorry. Ah, 
It is real, but it can only be used once. What's this? Why do I finally feel so cold? As if I'm really standing in the desert at night. Why can't my dun Hayazad see all this? I feel cold, like, like as if the world in the story has become real. The decade feels but a fleeting dream. The kingdom remains shrouded under the heavy reign of the Sasanian king. Upon discovering his beloved's betrayal, the king's heart became ensnared in doubt and mistrust. His cruelty grew boundless, suspecting every woman, believing them all to be fickle and treacherous like his former wife. Thus began his brutal ritual. Every evening he'd take a maiden as his bride, only to execute her at dawn, or before she could possibly betray him. The entire kingdom was cast in a shadow of sorrow and fear. You, as Shahrazad, have entered the palace, poised to be his next bride. Yet what the king doesn't know is that you possess the secret power, the magic to turn tales told into tangible reality. What kind of story will you spin? Can you harness this wondrous ability to save yourself and save more innocent souls? Now, let us embark on this journey, crafting tales as your path to survival. What weapon do you envision ending his reign of terror? Sword, dagger, or more, use your imagination. I've been trying to use my imagination. You've been telling me my imagination isn't good enough. Your Majesty, I'm here. So, you're the new girl, huh? Well, what is your name? Never mind. Never mind. Never it's supposed to be never mind. Uh, in that case, your majesty, let's reveal tonight something, if you would permit me, may I tell you a story. Oh, a story that's quite intriguing. That dude is tall compared to her. Um, not just going to let you do all the talking. Are those weapons familiar to him? I might sneak a peek, but he might get angry. Okay. Once uh, there was a baker who liked to bake bread. In the bakery. A baker? He'd better have respect for his king. Better yet, the baker secretly dreamt of creating a loaf so magnificent it would earn him a royal commendation. No, he didn't. Hey, it's my story, dude. No, he didn't. The baker was modest. Was a modest and humble man. He wanted... To make a delish baguette the size of the king's palace. That doesn't actually make him seem modest and humble, but does he belittle my palace by comparing it to a baguette? No, you idiot. That's not what he said at all. He's creating a baguette the size of a palace. The baker sought the uh, kingdom's best bread-making products and a vat of honey from the neighboring kingdom. He knew the king liked a hint of sweetness in his bread. I asked that my preferences should guide his creation. Gathering ingredients far and wide, he heads to the palace, determined to dominate the kingdom's bread-making craft. Oh, let's see. He, um... Day... Day and night, he... Worked hard to perfect his craft of the... Kingly baguette. Impressed by the baker's diligence, the king would send gifts of cookies as a token of his appreciation. How dare you suggest I would appreciate a mere baker's effort? All right. Uh, let's see. Finally, the baker completed the baguette. It was the largest 
forget that had ever been seen in all of the land. It was food enough to feed the kingdom for a fortnight. What would the king do with such delicious treats? The audacity of an I bear delicious anticipation. I took the historic group again and pondered deeply. Would it sustain my entire kingdom? I dare unleash such a project. Okay, but I don't know. I mean, the king took a bite of the baguette and oh, it was delicious. He shared it with his kingdom. End, you know, ending hunger for all and um, sending the kingdom into an era of prosperity. Wondrous, that magnitude of generosity truly befits me. As the taste of the magnificent bit again washed over me, I proudly declared a feast. My kingdom rejoiced in newfound prosperity. Okay, but I mean, like. Is that an axe? What are you looking at? Focus on your story. Like, am I supposed to do something with the axe? The king took his trusty axe and began to slice the baguette into pieces to share with his followers with more recognition for my might with my mighty axe I cut the mammoth loath each piece brings joy to the hmm. Royal Brentner ranks. This is the mighty axe used by the king to slice the largest baguette ever seen. It's from the Presbyterian of Insistence, Power 6. The story world is getting closer. Alright, so. Um, let's see. There is, it uh, looks like a shield. The king used his shield to carry around the slices. Has it made him look even more powerful than he already was? My grandeur is ever pompous, transforming my robust shield into a planet operated around the palace, each slice amplifying my regal presence. Do we have to get like all of the things? feel like I must have to get all of these. The king then began to entertain, entertain his guests by taking his dagger and tossing, uh, let's see, um, throwing it across the room to, I don't know, pin thin slices of bread through the wall. The crowds erupted in joy and cheers for their truly amazing king. Okay, so maybe that's not a dagger. The short sword? I mean, I've already... Oh, it was a sword. Waving his sword in the air, he exclaimed, I am the best. And uh, his subjects repeated this cheer with exuberance. They loved their king. Yeah, see, okay, so the royal sword is a thing. 
I guess I need one more thing, which is uh, potentially the spear. I mean, like, how many more places do I need to do? Like, I'm a little confused because there was definitely a sword or um, um, a spear over here, but now there doesn't appear to be one. Or maybe it still is. Hmm. In a show of pure... Uh, in a show of exemplary... Uh, I don't know. Weapon prof... Efficiency. The king tossed his spear through um spear into a hanging piece of bread. The spear then continued through the air and rings of fire, resulting in toasted bread. End of its journey. The crowd rejoiced in the king's intense capabilities. Oh, they can grasp a small fragment of my ginormous grandeur. My spear revealed startling prowess, soaring through the air, bribery through fire rings, uh, delivering a piece of golden toasted bread to the pallid. I feel like the story world has got to be here at this point. All right. And she apparently is going to use the spear. Oh, it's like action from the right. Okay, cool. Let's um, let's use the axe. Ah, my loyal subject, we're taking the feast that my mighty axe brings forth. I don't. I think this is going to actually work out. Alright, let's see what the shield does. Oh, it actually worked. I'm surprised. The long silent bells toll anew. News of the king's death flies through streets and alleys. News of the king's death flies through streets and alleys. Flowers bud and birds soar in unison. In a realm of peace and joy, a figure quietly fades away. No one knows her name, nor have they seen her face clearly. But her story is remembered, performed on the stage of each generation. As empires fall in war, civilizations cycle and change. To this day, her legend still circulates across this land. Charizard defeated the king. What will happen next? Thank you for playing this game. It's still under development. Your view will be super helpful. My name is Matt from the awesome duo. My message here is very cool implement, uh, implementation. Oh, I'm so tired to write all this. Very cool implementation of AI in a way that is beneficial to the game. Uh, do the game. I had a fun time writing out my adventures and uh, felt the combat at the end was pretty cool. I think it would be nice to know what the king is going to do attack wise. Who will help plan on if you should use the shield or attack. Overall, though, awesome sauce. They have my contact information. I don't need to give my email. Looking forward to meeting you again. All right, well, there you go. Um, I am going to include the link to the um, the game. Just keep in mind that if you're going to play the demo, 
uh, you will need to create, if you're in the US at least, you will have to create an OpenAI take, uh, token. Um, so just keep that in mind. <laughs>